How to build a Cessna 172 home flight simulator in just four minutes. There you go. Let's go. First things first, what aircraft do you want to build? This is a really important question because it's really going to bring home everything that we talk about from here on down this list, okay? So Cessna 172, a 182, a Piper Warrior. Maybe you want to do a dual engine Duchess. Maybe you want to do some heavy metal combat simulator. And if you want some flexibility to switch back and forth between different types of aircraft, Make sure that you think about that ahead of time and build that into your designs, which we're going to get to here in just a moment. Next step is Mac or PC. And we're not saying that you have to build one right now. We're just saying maybe you need to think about what you're going to use. What you what are you going to build your flight simulator on? A Mac is not going to give you as many options. It's not going to give you as much flexibility. If you want more uh, leeway, if you want to go downstream, you want to make this happen for you today, then get yourself a PC or build a PC. So everything's going to work. There's going to be a lot more options, a lot more flexibility. Now you can use whatever software you want. You've got X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Prepared, DCS. There's a whole, a whole boatload of options that will open up for you. Once you figure that out, what aircraft are you flying? What are you going to build? What computer are you building? Are you doing PC or a Mac? X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator, or something else? Once you have these things in mind, once you've figured this out, then and only then can you move on to the fun stuff, and that is research and design. So now it's time to get yourself a copy of PowerPoint or Keynote or something and start designing. Start building your flight simulator out on the computer. Start building it out in blocks so that you know what you want to go where. Where do you want that touchscreen? Where do you want that Garmin 53430? That's how I built mine, but now's the time to do that. Measure a whole bunch of times, then cut, okay? That's what we're going to be doing here. So once you've done that research, start looking, start looking at Amazon, start looking at all the sites. I'm going to give you guys a resource guide. If you want to see that, I'll leave a link down in the description. That'll get you a good start on where you can go, what things are going to work inside of your Cessna 172 flight simulator and how you're going to make that work best for you. So once you have an idea of what you're going to build and the things that you're going to put into your flight simulator, now you can go to the next step. So you've got the designs, you know what you're going to be using, you got the computer, we know what cockpit you're, you're building. Now you can go in and build the panel. Now you've got stuff on the way. Now you need to be thinking about where you're going to be housing it. So the next step is the desk. What are you going to be building? Do you have a regular desk? Do you have a thick desk? Do you have a wide desk? Is it going to accommodate your panel when it's finished? Is it going to accommodate the, the PC? Is it going to buckle if you put a bunch of heavy stuff on there? You put a monitor that's the size of this monitor back here and a PC and a panel on it, it's going to be too heavy. So you have to think about that. I built mine with a butcher block, sealed it, stained it, did everything, and then put the legs on that thing. It's a standing desk. While you're waiting for all your stuff to come in and starting to play with it, test it, make sure it works, make sure to play around, spend some time in this phase, and just enjoy it. This is supposed to be the fun part. Half of the fun of flight simulation is building it and getting that thing created, right? Once you've done that, um, get all your avionics, your G1000, get your 53430, make sure it's all functional, and get a hold of your, your panel guy. Got mine through Stay Level Avionics. John at Stay Level Avionics will walk you through the entire thing. You will end up sending all of your stuff over to him. So make sure you get everything insured. Make sure that everything works together. You're going to box it all up and you're going to ship it out. John is going to put this thing together for you. He's going to send it all back with everything in it ready to go. So all you have to do is literally just start plugging all this stuff in. That is go time. That's how you build a Cessna 172 flight simulator in four minutes or so. All right. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya. Hey, if you haven't already done so, head over to EliteSimBuild.com. Grab a copy of our Home Flight Simulator resource guide. Do that thing where you click the button, give us your email address, and we will send you a copy of our simulator guides where you can get the resource list, the avionics reviews, a panel blueprint. So that way you guys can send that off to your panel guy get all the parts and pieces that you need. You'll know exactly what software to pick up so you can get your Cessna 172 flight simulator built today.